Oh, hi folks, it's James here. Uh, I'm recording this on my MacBook Pro and not quite sure of the eye line, so I apologise if I'm not looking at you. And um, yeah, so just a quick video. Uh, I'm here at uh, in uh, North Wales uh, in my parents' house and uh, I've just been to Wrexham to uh, Alan Hughes' fantastic little record shop, uh, which I've been going to for a long time. And uh, was just told by Alan today that he's closing down the shop, doesn't want to do it anymore and uh, so yeah quite an emotional morning for me really, uh, it's, you know, it's not nice when your favourite record shop closes down in your hometown and I didn't realise until I walked through the door and saw the signs and everything so um, yeah just wanted to do this quick video really, show you the last ever haul from uh, from Alan Hughes. He's been in Wrexham for many many years, he had a great shop back in the 80s uh, called Phase One you know when I was in my teens and I bought a lot of great stuff from him back then. The shop he's had now he's had you know for quite a few years, it's just down this little alleyway, he sells books and CDs and you and you, you go upstairs into this great big uh, room which is absolutely sagging with records, you know fantastic stuff. Today he'd had a consignment of records in from some guy whose wife had apparently said to him it's either me or the records, uh, so he decided to keep the wife and get rid of the records, so uh, there was a huge box on the floor and I went through it and I picked up some really nice things actually, I mean nothing earth shattering, uh, but just some you know things I've been looking for for a while. This one, um, Elton John, Goodbye Yellow Brick Road, um, I had a copy of this a while ago from the Oxfam shop in Lancaster and it looked good but it, it played terribly, I think somebody had spilt something on it and uh, I'd cleaned it and cleaned it and nothing worked, it, it, it just sounded really terrible so a while ago I got rid of it and it was really annoying because I thought I had a, a real classic run of Elton records with this one as the cornerstone and it's, but it turned out that it was completely unplayable so it was nice to find this today. Uh, in pretty nice condition and a nice touch. You know, it turns out that it's from um, uh, from Cobb Records, which is another favourite record shop of mine uh, in Wales as well. So uh, that was quite nice. This one, um, not a record I've actually ever owned, unbelievably. This is uh, Led Zeppelin and In Through the Outdoor. Uh, again, this is a good price. I've not checked what these are. You know, I mean they're they're not represses. They're original copies, but. Um, this guy had kept them in really nice condition, so uh, yeah, that was a kind of no-brainer. Annoyingly, I've just bought this one on CD recently uh, because it's not a record that I've actually ever owned on any format at all. Uh, but now I've got um, a vinyl version of it, uh, and I picked up a couple of uh, Deep Purple albums because they're a band that I'm starting to get into more. I've got a few of their records, but they're not a group that I've ever particularly explored. And just a quick shout out, there's a new, a reasonably new um, VC channel, uh, a guy, I think he's, his name is Chris, and his channel is called The Vinyl Orchard, and he's a big fan of Deep Purple, and he's been talking about them a lot recently, and, you know, showing their records, so... Um, uh, there were a couple of nice things, Alan's, that I thought I'd get. I just got a copy of Burn. Really, really, really nice condition. This was actually sixteen pounds, but I was I was quite happy to pay it because you know it's just in really good nick. Uh, not an album I've ever heard before, so looking forward to that one. Some classic purple label. What's on this? Burn might just take your life. Lay down, stay down. Yeah, I you know I don't I I don't know this record at all, so. Uh, I'll be looking forward to hearing that. And this one was an upgrade. Uh, John Bellamy bought me a copy of this when he came to visit me in Lancaster uh, from the shop in Oxfam uh, here in Lancaster, but it was pretty beaten up. And this one again is in great condition. It might be some kind of repress this because it's got a bit of a kind of glossy feel to the cover. Might have been a, a kind of 80s reissue. It's got that price attack sticker on it. This is Stormbringer, which was one of their funkier efforts. 1974, is it? Uh, it's got, uh, this is the album where Glenn Hughes uh, did some songwriting with David Coverdale I think and uh, I really like this record, it's got a kind of clavinetti kind of feel to it, a bit sort of Stevie Wonder, not particularly a sound that you associate with Deep Purple, in fact I don't think Richie Blackmore was very happy with the way uh, that the band uh, had gone into that funky direction. He made some vaguely racist comments a bit further down the line saying, um, you know, I didn't want to be playing all that shoeshine music, so make of that what you will. Anyway, Deep Purple, uh, Stormbringer, it was nice to get a copy of that. And um, yeah, actually that was all I got from Allen's uh, because, uh, the, you know, they weren't cheap those records, uh, but they were just uh, some nice things to pick up and uh, I kind of wanted to go on a bang really. So yeah, farewell to Alan and um, he is going to come back, he's going to, I think he's going to get a stand on the market in town here, so he won't completely disappear, but it won't be the same not being able to go to his lovely old uh, 
shop with all those sagging shelves. Anyway, on the way home, uh, I was with my dad and we stopped off at a uh, place. It's called Acorn Antiques. It's a little uh, uh, antique centre uh, in a place just outside Wrexham. And uh, I've been there a few times and there was a reasonable stuff there. I picked up a couple of things for a fiver each. Um, I got this. This is Martin Carthy, Bonnie Black Hair and other songs. I love Martin Carthy. Um, I've only got a CD best of of his. I saw him live many years ago at the Bridgewater Hall in Manchester. Phenomenal guitarist. Um, just a great singer. I just love the atmosphere on his uh on his records, but they tend to be quite pricey in the UK, you know. Uh, I see them quite regularly, but they just, I think they're quite collectible. This one was five pounds, so I thought that was that was quite a nice price. Not sure what year this comes from, but um, I was glad to get that for a fiver. That's on uh, Black Phillips. And then this one uh, is a record I see around a lot, and it was only five pounds, so I thought I'd, uh, I'd uh, grab it. This is uh, BTO. Batman Turner Overdrive uh, and, the, and uh, Not Fragile. Like I said, I got that for £5. Don't know this band's music at all. I hear a lot about them on the vinyl community. You know, people like Paul, Fit to be Tie Dyed, talk about them a fair bit. And uh, so, yeah, I figured it was time to, to get that into the collection. The condition on this one is perhaps not fantastic, but it, it's kind of okay. Uh, it's on Blue Mercury. So, uh, yeah, anyway, that's it. Hope you enjoyed the update, and um, I'll see you all soon. Take care, folks. Bye-bye.